Hello, this is Homesteading Northwest Florida, and it is Monday, February 19th, 2024, at 8.45 in the morning. Got up pretty early this morning, like 6.30 or something, because it was freezing. We got down to about 31 degrees tonight, but I expected it. I have my hose wrapped with a grill cover. And what's the temperature now? It is 45 degrees right now after a freezing temperature night. And I had everything covered. I had my new bed that I planted here uh, with a blanket of the seven top just to help these because they were coming out. Oh boy. I wonder if they died because I put a blanket. Oh, no, I see a little couple seedlings. There's one. Right there. Yeah, I see a couple there. So, I didn't want them to get completely frozen out. And then tomorrow, actually, it's supposed to freeze again tonight. So, tomorrow morning, I'll put the, you know, so... Yep, to keep everything from freezing down to the ground. Because everything started. I mean, look at the rose bush here. Because we had some 70 degree days. And roses are wonderful the way that they can handle the cold, freezing, you know, hot day, you know, warmer days of 70. And then it gets to freezing. Roses are great for that they know, you know, oh, it's only going to be a couple nights, and then actually after tomorrow night, we may not get freezing temperatures again this year. Kind of looks like upper 30s and 40s and 50s, stuff like that. So last night, uh, to tonight may be the last night of freezing temperatures. And I didn't really prune this. I like to have this height here in this rose bush and it seems to be doing it so then I can see the roses from my window and the tropical gardenia yeah this must have been a shock for this baby last night and tomorrow tonight will be a shock but I had this blanket over that bed of lettuce that I planted with the little seedlings and it was all covered with frost this morning and here's my mandevilla. Oh, we might leave that a little bit. It's got a little life in the center. till it warms up a little bit more. But, oh, 45 degrees is warm enough for lettuce. This stuff doesn't like to be covered. It gets bugs. If it's covered when it's, like, above 50, it, it you know, it likes the cool temperatures. But not freezing. No plants like freezing. So, we take this off. And we move this whole thing. It's got a little bit of uh, fungus happening here. Where this is just dying. Probably because of freezing and then being warm. But this butter crunch is doing really good. This green, now that's doing well. But it all needs to be thinned out and probably replanted soon. I did harvest some out of there. But it's got a little bugs once in a while. Probably too crowded is really what it is with lettuce. But during the winter, kind of want to only have one container that I got to continually cover every night and move the cover off. So yeah, this rose is looking real good. Wish they had a fruit tree that was like roses. Eh, no big deal, one, two nights. Yeah, here's the ebb tide rose coming out. Here's another container that I cover. I'll get that uncovered on the way back. 
but got rid of a lot of branches. Ooh, I left my rake out. Burnt a lot of branches this last burn time. And then it rained about three days ago. So that was kind of a good time to have it rain. But we got our area that was never cleared, cleared two days ago. Yeah, if we didn't have those freezing nights, this would be paradise here. Absolutely. But it kills stuff. Not great. And I pulled out my, I'm going to, I'm just going to mow all this, all this canna lily stuff, this old canna lily, all that stuff is just going to get mowed. Going to get rid of that uh, bamboo there and remove the soaker. I removed the soaker hose, which is destroyed, which was, oh, we even have a bud on one of our roses over here. Not seeming to mind. I wish there was a fruit tree that was like a rose bush where, oh, we're still going. Even though we had, uh, you know, it reached uh, 32 degrees for uh, about an hour, maybe it reaches that. But it does kill stuff. So, yeah, we finally got this area cleared of vines and, uh, mowed it, cut down some blueberry trees, removed a lot of vines over here. Oh, well, looks like we had an armadillo dig already. Like here's uh, here's one of the stumps I cut down of the blueberry tree that had like a three, four inch diameter. And here's something, the roots should still be living though, big time. They've probably been here for 30 years. They're probably very old blueberry bushes that grew into a tree. I've even seen eight, 10 inch diameter uh, blueberry trees. You know, they never bear any fruit. So 